Welcome everybody. We are starting into our ESO housing hike. This is Couch Victorian, player houses in the Elder Scrolls Online, seeing the cool things that you can do with the houses, with the furnishings, and with a little bit of creativity and design, you can do amazing things, infinite possibilities. And I'm J.R. Ellis. I'll be your tour guide as we visit a bunch of homes right now on the PC EU server. This is something I stream live each week at twitch.tv slash J.R. Ellis. I do it for both PC EU and PCNA on Fridays. So here we go, here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's no particular theme for our weekly housing hike. We'll just go and tour these, get some decoration inspiration. Maybe you're working on some projects of your own. Maybe you can get some ideas. Or we can just enjoy these as we go through. And thank you, Geek Meowty, with the 15-month resub. Thank you so much. Okay, Darza has... It's Leak Creek. I said to come and visit the interior of it, but we'll go and look at the courtyard here. So Sleek Creek, kind of Kajiti type of a feel to it. In Reaper's March. So they've, they've played that up so far, as far as the plants that are from the home goods furnitures, as far as like the colorful tapestries, we have additional tarps and everything. These are Redguard style. So you can, you can mix and match different styles together, right? Lots of times, kind of have to and then lots of times it just kind of works very well regardless we have a lot of fish being grilled up here so I, it does maybe tell me this is a Khajiit home oh wait wait is that our homeowner it is it's Darza it's a Khajiit <laughs> very sneaky stealthy colorings on this Khajiit Blend in with the shadows. Oh no, not so much. Oh, I see, I see. That's their that's their day job. Now they're welcoming guests. See, nothing nothing suspicious here. <laughs> okay. Good deal. <laughs> okay, beautiful fountain. Now they've done something clever here, which is they've actually blocked off this bottom part with a Khajiit architectural style. Lots of times they're kind of like on posts. Um, allows you to put things under there if you wish. Um, but I think for the sake of item limits and just as far as making the house feel a bit more full, they decided to block this off with these elsewhere walls. Still having an additional garden and things like this in here makes it look nice. Clever canopies. Yeah, good use of the canopies. Actually using a pergola here too. I think this was on the luxury vendor a couple weeks back, wedding pergola. Just gives a little extra cover there and kind of, uh, yeah, kind of extends it out. Okay, looking good, looking good. Okay, going inside. We have drinks. A lot of drinks going in. Ooh, very colorful. I see, I see. It definitely feels like a this colorful Khajiit abode. Lovely, lovely. All of the oddities about these collectibles. All the fun things. I see a lot of um, antiquity furnishings kind of in the mix. They tend to have a little bit of a more character to them, a little bit more colorful, a little bit higher resolution on the textures on those too. So they look pretty good in there. So we have like the uh, tall papa lamp or the uh, fox statue there or the nest of shadows snake in, in the back there. So a lot, a lot of cool things that add a lot of color and texture to this. Yeah, just trying to get a good screenshot. I'll upload screenshots of the houses that we visit today to spicyeconomics.com. We have thousands of pictures of ESO housing there. If you ever need some decoration inspiration you can go and peruse those okay oh a really fun place sneaking around Khajiit scholar perhaps Ooh, I like this skull here with the open mouth being used to hold the scroll that's pretty clever that's one cool thing about housing editor in ESO is that everything can be combined together so things can overlap in, in infinite ways. And so you don't, it's not like modular, like where one thing has, can be in one place and another thing has to be in another place. No, you can you can mush things together. So you can have this cool scroll holder here or you know, just different ways of um, putting furnishings together in creative ways. You can make things look really busy or you can even come up with whole new creations, modern creations too. As far as this home, just a really lovely play on this kind of Khajiit lifestyle. Very fancy, very fancy, very colorful, lots of bottles. 
successful Khajiit thief. I think maybe they're a thief. <laughs> maybe, or maybe. Maybe they're very noble, and maybe they were just out of character for a moment. Hard to tell. Seems to be some sort of a, a general now. Maybe high up in the ranks. Very confident look. Been adding a couple fashion contests into the channel as well sometimes. It's been fun to do that. Okay, Roy, lovely home. Oh, I might. Okay, I'll just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, good deal, good deal. Oh, short fin eight with a sub. Thank you, thank you so much. Make all the happy moo things happen. Very warm and inviting place. It is, it is. And they have like all the nice things to have here. All the pillows are very colorful. You know, the sweet rolls kind of help yourself, all the food. Yeah, it makes it very inviting. I would expect this is a place that would have guests over. Unless if you're going to polish off this platter of sweet rolls by yourself. And maybe they are, maybe. <laughs> all good, all good. Okay, well, thank you, thank you so much. I'm going to continue along with our housing hike. We'll see something completely different as we continue along. We'll go to Pneumatic Kitties, Domus Frasticus. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, carpets on the floor. Yeah, just color everywhere tapestries and carpets and full bookshelves really make it look good. Wow, we have a lot of people here. Or it's like 12 out of 12 people are in this house. Domus Frasticus. Um, uh, I'll have to remind me. Remind. Pneumatic. Pneumatic Kitty is here, welcoming me in, ushering me in. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I don't really know what to expect from this house. We have. Oh, I see, I see. They have a name for this. It is Estrid's House of Eleganza. Okay, we'll we'll go and. See what this house is like. This is Aetherius Art. Aetherius Art Guild is in Estrid's House of Eleganza. Now, this is on EU. I have to think about what that might mean. Eleganza. Might be a type of cheese. Is Eleganza a type of cheese? Oh, I think it might be. So maybe we are... Maybe we are coming and tasting some cheeses. It does a cheese and wine tasting thing, maybe. Maybe? How exquisite. How exquisite. Ooh, I, I really like their, their stylings going on here. They're drinking, taking an order, having a seat. Lots you can do with the role-playing side of things. The role-playing, role-playing. We have the guests. Beautiful fashion. Mmm, eleganza. It's maybe horse cheese? I don't know. Maybe? Maybe. Let's go and explore the courtyard. I think most everything's going to be inside, though. Oh, I have a cute little scene here with little figurines. Oh, cute, cute. <laughs> Debella blessing this place. Okay, going inside. We have we have the yellow yellow banner, so I I think it is cheese is very important here. Yes, yes, I see. I see. We have a ginormous crusty cheese wheel here. Look at it. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Perfect, perfect. The yellow carpet, really accentuating that. Geogrith. Well, there was an there was a an Altmer statue out there. Maybe that was supposed to represent Sheo. Maybe, maybe we'll see more of that. Quite a lot of fashionable things going on with this place. Oh yes, yes. Here, you can sign in and you get your. Complimentary cheese slices. Well, it's not so complimentary. Look, you had to pay for it. 
Yes, we have we have cheese slices here for all of these fashionable peoples. They take their cheese very seriously here. Beautiful, beautiful. Get some screenshots along the way of all the cheese peoples. Going up, going up. Cheesy pepper, yes, yes. Yellow is definitely a theme throughout this place. All these rich colors, rich cheeses. Oh yes, here we're making string cheese, of course. Oh, we have the mozzarella making lovely, lovely string cheeses. You have to worry about infestation of Jerboas. We have more cheese over here being processed. Perfect, perfect. Oh, I see, I see. We have kind of like this kind of like blue cheese. You can just kind of see the mold on it. Yes, very, very... All sorts of different cheeses being represented. It's eleganza. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, a lot of blues being represented in here, kind of representing that moldiness with the cheese. Okay, what a beautiful, beautiful place. They really take their cheese very seriously here, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed by this place. It's very, very full. I think all the characters, you know, playing their parts here... Makes it all that much more fun. All that much more delicious. A little bit of elegance added here. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so Estrid's House of Eleganza with Aetherius Art Guild. Very, very upper class here. Hoity toity. Artful, artsy, artistic. All the art, all the art, all the Aetherius art. Thank you, Beansprout. Thank you, Pneumatic Kitty. We'll be going to Beansprout's. I see Beansprout's here. We'll be going to Beansprout's home in a bit, too. I think it'll be the same group for the ne next home. So a lot of cool things that you can do with a house like this, right? It's a fairly small home, 400 items. Full of... Elegant things and cheese. Mostly cheese. All the books about cheese making. It's an ancient craft. Okay, good deal, good deal. Keep moving along. Next up, we'll go to Nick Furzen's Cold Harbor Surreal Estate, where they have some sort of a custom ship. We'll go and look at it. They have a, a play on a name for for this. I'm not quite sure if this will have other references in it as we go through. But we have <laughs> a Tom Cruiser. Tom Cruiser. I'm gonna sign in. Cruiser being a ship. The ship is this way. This way. Ah, I see a big ship. We do have like a custom car. Here. I see that they have portals, probably to some of their other houses using essential housing tools. But the main focus here is going to be on. Oh my gosh, what is going on with that Aeon stone up above? <laughs> it's like flashing on and off. Is that supposed to be doing that? Maybe it's just a weird interaction with the fire in the front. I think it is. Now it's not doing it. Oh well, oh well. Okay, so we have the dragons. They're fighting each other. We have a big, big floating ship. Big cruiser here with, like, the thruster on the back. Cool, cool. Yeah, big... Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> I got a little too close there. A little too close to the edge. Uh, let's try that again. Uh-oh. Doesn't... Oh, I see. If I walk through that portal, it takes me back to the beginning. <laughs> 
let's take a look from the other side so you can try to see what this looks like floating up above we have like the fans there being used to keep it afloat somehow magically seems like a very hefty ship okay big floating ship full of lots of busts a lot, a lot of statues and everything feels like a like a floating adventurer home we even have indoor waterfalls and all the gardens and everything okay cool 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 very fancy Feels a little bit magical, too. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Stepping on a switch. Making something. Making Malakath appear. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think the rest of his body will fit through the portal. Shoulders might get stuck there. Cruiser full of really magical things, interesting things. Cheese, beautiful, beautiful. A gargoyle like presenting the book. <laughs> Ooh, using the fan here to have a little bit of a cover, like a little umbrella. Let's steer the ship. Where are we going? Off into the void of Cold Harbor. Beautiful. Actually, this feels like a little glider, doesn't it? I think this isn't steering the ship itself. I think this could take off. It has like a little... It has little fans on the back. Yeah, I think that you could glide out. Take this for a spin out. Go, go around a loop. Doesn't look like it has a lot of power itself. Maybe you have to hitch right on an air current. If you want to get back on the cruiser. <laughs> okay, fun, fun, fun. Okay, really full of happenings on this one. Fancy place full of food. Must have a lot of guests on this cruiser at times then. Going up and up and up and up. Hmm, powerful machines going on around. Up and up and up. Into maybe a living quarter. Now, th this is where you steer the ship from. Okay, this makes more sense. They've augmented the. Oh, this whole this whole thing has been kind of cobbled together here. So we have like the sextant, and we have kind of like a magical compass type of a feel going on with it. Yeah, definitely changing this helm up. Okay, we can even drop anchor if we need to. Okay, yeah, we're at the back. Here's here's the engine. That's why it's so noisy. Or the thruster, I suppose. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think I didn't get to the engine room. Wait, is that the is that somebody? It is. It's you. <laughs> I thought it was a fact of them. I was like, no, they're they're being too animated. You have that polymorph though. I'm trying to fix the ship up. Keep it ship shape. Okay, cool. So it's like clockwork style as far as the machinery here. Oh, here's a hidden bedroom. Magical feel to it. More flowing water and everything. I like the fantastical nature of this. It feels like a little impractical as far as a flying ship, but you know, you do what you want with it, and that, that's why it feels a little bit magical too. Kind of all these different things that you can put together, all of your interests, 
show off some of your achievements. I want to get to the engine still. I don't think I got to the engine room. I think there's a separate engine room. Maybe down here? Okay, here we go. Here's here's some machinery going on. It's fusion powered cockpit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, they had to horn there too. They let people know they were coming. And we have like crew quarters with extra beds. Ship with a maze, with a hedge maze. And a bathroom. Good use of the Alambrus twins, holding your towels. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> a hedge mage on a flying ship. Why not? Why not? What's what's through here? Treasure! Oh, we found secret treasure here. Perfect, perfect. I like all the layering of, of the ship. So we have like different decks and each one has like different things going on with it. Oh, I hear those. I hear those coins. I hear those coins. I hear all those coins. Wait, I, I can get back to it. Adding to the pile here. Must be must be profitable, whatever it is. <laughs> Maybe you take tourists on. You know, very very fancy cheese eating tourists that. Pay a lot to go to different locales of Tamriel. Whatever it works. Seems to be like a luxury cruise ship. Maybe? Kind of? Has some elements of vanity to it. Maybe maybe a throne would indicate something of that nature, too. Kind of have to live by the captain's rules here. Captain Nick Furzen. Oh no, they disappeared. Oh wait, there's a secret. There's a secret. <gasps> secret behind the throne. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Ooh. It's a, it's like a little fighter ship. It reminds me of the like the Cylon Battlestar Galactica ship. The eye. <laughs> the red eye. I don't know if that's what they're going for, but that's definitely the sense I get. Um cool use of these danger doorways. Can I get up into the here? Can I sit here? I wanna be a Cylon. Cool, cool. I don't even know if that's what they're going for, but I'll go pew pew. Cool, cool. Oh, that is the inspiration on that. Cool, cool. <laughs> good deal, good deal. That works really well. Okay, and let me just make sure. I wasn't expecting a little hidden thing there. Okay, anything else? Let me just say that. Secret room. Okay, thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Anything else? Anything? Anything else? Just want to make sure I don't miss too much. Secret room. There's another secret room. They're, they are full of secret rooms. Oh, is that, a, is that a carpet? It is a carpet. Oh, I can go through here. <laughs> um, I see. Maybe maybe these are those cheese-eating, well-to-do guests that are funding this. Uh, I see. Oh, I mean, it seemed to be interrupting something. Um, mm, oh, some, uh, mm, somebody seems to be surprised to walk in on this. Very uh, affectionate display here. Hmm. <laughs> no. Well, I'll leave them be. I'll leave them be. da 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 <laughs> Okay, good deal. It's a little spicy there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> good deal. Good deal. Okay, thank you. I'll say thank you. Jump in the fountain up deck. Wait, okay, up and okay, up, up top. Some additional secret maybe in the fountain. I like this. There's a little bit more than meets the eye here. Why do I have the feeling that the fountain's going to kill me? Wait, wait, there's a... There's a hand poking up. There's a secret here. Oh, I think I... I just asking for a blessing from Periite here. Periite? What does Periite have in store for me? I see, I see. As if the bony skeletal hand wasn't any sort of a sign. 
Well, some of the guests pay extra for this treatment. It's a little bit of a shock treatment here. Ooh, some guests don't take it well, I see. Well, let's, uh... Now that I'm doomed, let's continue along. Let's continue along. <laughs> Say thank you very much for your visit. Thank you, thank you. Doomage. Let's keep going along. To Bean Sprout's place. I wonder if I'll get killed before I port out. We're good, we're good. Those shock pitcher plants there. I wonder if they'll bring those back at some point. I guess they come back with the crown crate sometimes. I have like 11 people in this house. Oh my god, Bean Sprout. What have you done? Theorist Art? A Theorist Art again, I would think. Well, there's going to be a lot of the same peoples from, from New Medic Kitty's home. Okay, so we'll just go and explore this place. I don't really have any information about it, so let's go check it out. Well, they have a lot of fancy rugs. These are on the luxury vendor a couple weeks ago. Fancy rugs. Ooh, and pillows. Very colorful. Very elegant. Kind of playing off. Well, it goes very well with the other home. And the funny thing about this one is it's also Domus Frasticus. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at this. I think some of them changed up. Oh, oh, I'm trying to be a little flattery there. Oh, he's having none of it. Oh, no. What else can he do? Hmm. Hmm. Seems to be a one way street here. No, oh, oh, very critical, very critical. Oh, your timing, your timing on the music's off. Oh no, begging, begging. <laughs> Unrequited love. Maybe this is just a professional relationship. Maybe that's, maybe, maybe one or the other is a boss or something. Maybe, maybe they're business partners. Maybe, maybe it's a family relationship of some sort. Maybe that's a daughter. Maybe, maybe he's just a loving father. No, they, they seem to be, I don't know, I don't know. Hard to tell the ages on these sometimes. Seems to be unrequited love. Sorry about that. You keep trying. Maybe. Maybe it's just not meant to be. A lot of... A lot more Dunmer in the sea. Wait. Mard Bliss. With Big Raid. Thank you, thank you. Lots of other fish, too. All the fish. All the fish in the sea. Could cheat with a coin. Beautiful. Makes me very positive. We'll have riches. Right. All the riches. Opportunity. That's what that coin represents. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mard Bliss. Thank you, thank you. Mard love, love, Mard love, love, Mard love, love, Mard love, love. <laughs> Funny mode. Thank you, thank you. Amazing creations. Yeah, so... Ooh, lovely wide open... Has a bit more of his rural feel to it with the animals and the hay and everything. Ooh, custom structure up this way. What do we have up this way? Ooh, goes all the way up. Ooh, we have somebody pacing. We have a guard. Looking out for ne'er-do-wells. Maybe outside threats. Good, good, good. You keep your watch there. Shove some cheese in the little mouth hole there. As a reward. I don't have much of a mouth hole. I'll have to shove cheese through your eye holes then. Oh no, it's such a life of a guard. That's that's why they come in the cheese slice form, right? Perfect, perfect. Right, right through there. Sneak it in. Okay, and inside, fairly festive, lighthearted, very warm with the fire. You have like a stew bubbling on the fire. Yeah. 
Seems like a nice warm place for adventurers to come and maybe regale their tales of their adventures. Definitely like the warm color scheme going on. And up above. Fairly fancy bedroom. Full bunk beds here too, so it must be a place for people to rest a bit. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily like a home home, like for a, for a single person with the four beds in here. Or maybe I'm overreading into it. Maybe there are additional rooms here. Seems to be... What would it be then? Maybe it's like a resting place or like an inn. <laughs> Very social area though, right? All the people gathering. Oh, we have food and beds up above, so it has more of like an in feel to it. Okay, good deal, good deal. Sway to the music here. You feeling that? I'm feeling it. Just let the rhythm flow through you. May have had a little too much cheese. What was in that cheese? Oh gosh. Okay, good deal, good deal. No, oh, it stopped, it stopped. No, no, it never stops, never stops. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, I think, I think that'll about do it then. It's fun to see all these guildies about. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe? Maybe things are better now. You didn't you didn't woo him with your loot or by fanning yourself. He still seems to be not very interested, but you you are in a bit more private area here, not outside in the public. Nobody else is watching but me. Oh, she's still begging. Oh no, oh no. Anything, anything. I'm not moving on your girl. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh no, she only has eyes for him. I'm sure, I'm sure. Oh no, maybe I'll play the loot. Oh, one up ya, oh, one up ya. Make it both feel bad. It never stops here, thanks to your heart. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe things will work for them. Oh no, he's taking attention. No, she, she doesn't want anything of it. But he's upset. He's upset that I'm trying to move in. Maybe? Maybe? Oh. There we go. There we go. Make make him jealous. Make him jealous and then it will work. Perfect, perfect. My ploy all along. Okay, good deal. Thank you, Bean Sprout and friends. Thank you all. Thank you all. I shall say. Little matchmaker J Hart. Okay, matchmaker Moo Man. That's right. Last up for today's housing hike. Go bullhorns, bullhorns it up. That's what, that's what I should have done. It's my go-to. Yeah, if I really wanted it to win her over, I would have done the bullhorns. But, you know, it's being a little, a little courteous there. Okay. Last up is going to be Mashia's Sisters of the Sands. They say that this is her first try with the Essential Housing Tools add-on. And there is going to be a... Book with... I think there are some custom books in here I'm supposed to maybe read. Okay, Valentine's Day themed. It's still February, so we'll go and check this out. Valentine's Day themed. Very small home. Very small home. There are only 100 items here. And we can get a sense of it. I think there... Yeah, there are two books here. There are two books here. Book with two letters. So one of these... Maybe tells about the characters that have come and stayed here, I think. I think maybe if you want to look at that, you could uh, freeze it here. <laughs> freeze it here. Um, I'm not going to read those right now, though. 
I'm going to read this other book, though, on the table. Which will maybe give a little bit of um, context for this home. Very fancy. I really like how they've added all these centered rocks inside. It definitely changes the look of it, makes it feel more natural, and then going with the centered rocks for the fireplace as well. Very nice stylings going on. So let's read this custom book. This is with Essential Housing Tools. Um, okay, so here we go. Two, two small cards. You, <clears throat> I'll, I'll read this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You find on the small desk a book full of dramatic, kishy, and really bad poetry. Someone stuck two small cards inside. One depicts a very happy and inconvenient sexualized picture of Debella's statue with a rainbow-colored text below. Mara's Temple. Wedding starter kit. For a simple and romantic wedding with only the betrothed. No guests, pets, or other priests allowed. Be there at the right time and be dressed properly. No refunds for marriage problems. Always remember, we provide the ceremony, you the spouse. No marriage cons cons consummating inside the temple? Hmm. You realize that the scribbled date on the side of the note is the exact date and time you are standing here and reading this. Maybe you have some time left to look around a little bit more, but you don't expect a cheap wedding ceremony to last long. So it's kind of like a nice, nice place to come get hitched. A little a, a lope escape here. Okay, looks good. The other card shows a very muscular red guard warrior laying lazily on a bed of coins inside a dark cave. The very curvy shadow of a woman is next to the impressive growth of his body hair, the only decency available. Unintimidated, he flashes a cheesy smile. Tavern Inn. Okay, a little bit of thank you note for renting this place. Thank you for renting the Redguard Love Grotto, a stunning room styled into an authentic and romantic desert cave. All the style, but none of the real drawbacks, like scorpions, lions, dripping water, stench, and Redguard robbers. Instead, you are welcomed by warm colors, cozy pillows, a nearly real treasure, and a big love nest. Framed with original stones and plants out of the Alakir Desert, you can forget all your problems at home and just enjoy your stay. Bathroom is on the first floor. Breakfast and dinner will be served in the dining room at sunrise and dawn. Special price for young and lovely lovers. You feel watched. <laughs> a little bit of RP going on with this. So, we've rendered an inn here, in room here, right? For new couples. New couples to come and... Come and stay. Very romantic. All, all the nice things about... Alakir Desert, without any of the drawbacks, right? Nearly real treasure. Yeah, so it's just a treasure of the of the desert here. They say it's not real, so you don't take that, but really it is real. <laughs> no, no, all the gold coins up above. So it feels like a treasures of Alakir. Hmm. Oh, I see. I think I see why I'm being watched. Oh, they have a security camera in here. Bad, bad. Now, um, Mashka had said something interesting, it was that they um, were trying to figure out how to make the visual effects from a central housing tools feel a little bit more three-dimensional. I can see what they've done with this, is that they've added like a little bit of like a drop shadow on these, a black drop shadow, because what you can do with the visual effects is you can re-dye them, so it makes them look a little bit more three-dimensional. Um, otherwise, visual effects tend to look pretty flat, so you can see like the pocket watch there is a visual effect with a little bit of a shadow added to it. Or the books or visual effects or uh, Kakom here. Again, adding a little shadow to it just to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional so it fits a bit better here. And then a couple jewelry pieces and flowers and everything in there. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Peeping Tom camera. It's a... It's a... Red guard... Dwarven rune style security camera. I suppose it works. <laughs> Terrible, terrible. Okay, and the Durboa from the desert is very cute. Yeah, so we have a nice bed here with all all the trappings of the desert, all the good things, and we have maybe we swipe some things from the breakfast bar. Okay, good deal. Fun place. Very cozy. Lovers retreat here, right? Very warm. Fire. I definitely like how they've 
you know, brought a lot of plants inside. Those would be from like Humgrid's furniture. And playing off the colors, just like a bit of gold kind of speckled throughout all this place. Very thematic with the color schemes and the treasure, what they're going for. <laughs> and get fleas. No, it's a nice clean Jerboa there. Okay, good deal, good deal. It might have snuck in somehow. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody. This this will do it for this week's housing hike for PCEU. And again, I'll get screenshots up on my website, Spicy Economics, and I will upload the file of this to YouTube if you're watching there. If you could please subscribe, that helps a lot. And we'll continue to have fun here with the channel. So, have... Well, I want to thank everybody. Thank you, uh, Darza225. Thank you, Pneumatic Kitty. Thank you, Nick Furzen. Thank you, Beansprout. Thank you, Masha, for opening up your homes. And thank you, everybody, for being here in Twitch chat and on the YouTube channel and all good stuff. So, continue to have fun with the housing hikes. If you ever have a home for me to come tour, you can send me a mail in-game at jhartellis on PCNA or PCEU. And I'll come and see if it's appropriate for the channel and then might come tour it on Friday. Friday. Okay, so... Have fun with housing, have fun with ESO, and stay spicy. Move.